to another positive story. A 23-year-old matriculant from Kwamashu Township has proven that it's never too late to turn your life around. Emmanuel Hare became a drug addiction and matriculated with five distinctions. ENCA's Liti Wembluli has the story. Emmanuel Hare says he still can't believe he has achieved such great results. The 23-year-old has overcome many hardships. He lost his mother at a young age and once dropped out of school and became addicted to drugs after falling out with his father. After not going to school for such a long time, I started smoking weed and all. And I didn't want to go to school anymore. I thought maybe I couldn't find a job and stuff. I decided to go look for work. Why these people here working in the contracts? I used to work as a laborer, mixing mud and all. And those people, they didn't pay me. I Hare matriculated from J. Injovu High, an under-resourced school in Guamashu. But he attained five distinctions and two Bs, making him one of the top achievers in KZN. I was waiting for five distinctions, but I didn't know it was for accounting. I thought the seven would be of English. I thought accounting maybe would be level, level yeah. six. Yeah. yeah, so I was very happy. And at the time, I tried to check for my re matric results. I couldn't find them anywhere. Until I went on Facebook and my friend, the president of school, he had posted already that I got five distinctions. And yes. Like I couldn't believe it. I, need, I needed to check somewhere else. So I decided to phone Sir, yes. and he also confirmed it. Yes. His friends helped, providing a safe and quiet space for him to study. He also wouldn't have done it without the help of his accounting teacher, Mr. Nwani. The teacher says he is beyond proud. He used to call me Pep Guardiola, the Man City <laughs> coach, because of the teachings. You know, we have a, a, an hour lesson, but before I start a lesson, I used to, to give them some sort of uh, motivation. I want him to, to do become accounting. I want to, him to do become, you know, Bachelor of Commerce. I want him to become an accounting, an accountant. I want him to, you know, to be part of international financial representative standard. He remembers. So those are, are my dreams for, for him. Nwane describes the school as a rehabilitating school. It is an abnormal school, so it can't be operated in a normal way. We need uh, a program that will assist these learners. Yet I implemented Operation Gona, where at a boot camp actually, where they stayed school for like a, a weekend. My school is actually under-resourced, you know. We don't have uh, projectors, we don't have uh, laboratories, we don't have computer labs. labs. Uh, sometimes you will want you to, to, to give an exposure to your learners. Uh, but because of, of, of the, uh, the school, because of, the, uh, the, uh, because of limited resources that we, we have in our school, it's quite impossible. Hare has big plans for the future, but no funds to pursue them. I paid the CAO fee late. I didn't have the money for CAO. Also, too, I, I didn't think all this would come. I thought I was just going to school for a matric. I didn't know all this would come. Yes, so I had to pay. I paid the CAO late, so I'm still waiting for the school to reply. Due to the lack of funds and late applications to universities, he might not be able to further his studies this year. But he's waiting for news from universities and applying for a bursary with the help of his teacher. Let's see Durban.